Climate change and warmer sea surface temperatures are adding fuel to the Atlantic hurricane seasons. Recent storms are packing more of a punch, with hurricanes dumping more rain and lingering longer after making landfall. The past six years have been considered above average hurricane seasons, and storm forecasters say 2022 promises to be as bad. Forecast is for a total of 19 named storms. So those are storms named by the National Hurricane Center, winds of 39 miles per hour or greater. Of those 19, nine becoming hurricanes. And of those nine, four becoming major category three, four, five hurricanes, hurricanes with winds of 111 miles per hour or greater. Um, that's above average. An average Atlantic hurricane season has about 14 storms, seven hurricanes, with three of them categorized as major. This above average forecast from researchers at Colorado State University is not an isolated one. Research from the Climate Adaptation Center in Sarasota, Florida, points to another active season. It looks like a, an extremely active hurricane season and uh, the CAC is uh, predicting 22 named storms in the Atlantic hurricane basin, which includes the Atlantic Ocean, uh, the Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico between now and uh, the end of this year. The number of named storms has increased by 40 percent. The first reason is the climate is really warming quite fast now. The rate of warming of the climate is double what it was in 1990. And as a result of that, sea surface temperatures, which are really, the sea is really rocket fuel for hurricanes, has warmed dramatically in the last five years. We've had well above average sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic hurricane formation areas. All of these forecast models are based in history. Hurricane seasons are not random. So there's basically what we look for are effectively what we call precursor signals. So what sets of conditions were present in the atmosphere and in the ocean prior to active seasons? And alternatively, what sets of conditions were present before inactive seasons? National Hurricane Preparedness Week is here, and some locals are sharing their knowledge to prepare for the hurricane season. Do not put your life... The U.S. East Coast and Florida have a 47% chance of having a major hurricane making landfall on the mainland. Actually, getting a lot of water, for sure, like basic needs. So, water, toilet paper. Run. Just get out of the way. You don't want to be around because the... If you're in town after the storm, there's nothing to buy. Everything's closed. You can't get nothing. Please go somewhere else because you be comfortable. Well, just make sure you're prepared. Have your generators, have your fuel, and uh, have your alcohol. That way, if you're stuck in, you're good to go. It's not a secret that people also make sure to have supplies for a good time during a storm in case they're hunkered in for a while. The new challenge with sea surface temperatures being so warm is that a hurricane can form one day and quickly strengthen into a major storm giving very little time to residents and authorities to safely prepare, evacuate, and shelter. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Miami.